Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at and would I lie to you? Uh, this one is going to be a guess the guest segment. Um, this has got Liz Carr, Annika Rice, and Lee Mack are going to be trying to fool us and we have to guess who this person is to one of them. I don't know who Annika Rice is, but I know Liz Carr and Lee Mack, so I feel like this will be fun. Um, and I, I also I enjoy the comedy stuff. I always think it's a lot of fun. The only reason I don't do it as much because it's absolutely 100% impossible to monetize. Honestly, the things that do the best on this channel are the ones that I cannot monetize. <laughs> so it's like uh, the, the, the music stuff, the comedy stuff. It's like I really enjoy doing it, but is not helpful for my job so make sure you're watching the history stuff too go and watch the history stuff with kit i've got some science uh, and science and technology stuff as well go and watch those we would really really appreciate it um but in any case right now we are watching comedy so i'm going to watch this is my blank with lee mac annika rice and liz carr let's go so please welcome this week. So please welcome this week's special guest, Roy. <laughs> so Liz, what is Roy to you? This is Roy. Roy used to play the lottery every week till I convinced him not to, and that week his numbers came up. <laughs> <laughs> Annika, how do you know Roy? Um, how how did his numbers come up? If he did, he always play with the same numbers. Is that how? Is that how that one worked? This is Roy. I like to paint him naked in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Roy? This is Roy. I once spent the night in his petrol station, wearing nothing but my wife's dressing gown. <laughs> David's team, where do you want to begin? OK, well, Liz, that's quite an unlikely story. I mean, statistically, there is no point you can get a lottery ticket when you're not more likely to die before the numbers are drawn than for your numbers to come up. You didn't get that ad campaign, uh, did yeah. you, David? No. <laughs> that, also, the way, <laughs> the way that he phrased that, I feel like, was awkward. But, like, I think what he's saying is it's more likely you'll die than your numbers on the lottery will come up, which, fair, I guess it is more likely. Everyone dies, not everyone wins the lottery. And that's how <laughs> unlikely it is. What? Um, so his numbers came up the next week. But what you've just said is essentially what I said to him. Yeah. I don't play the lottery. And so Roy works with me. Yeah. Works on Silent Witness. Mm -hmm. And um, In what capacity? Uh, in the art department. Okay. So we would talk. I was like, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You never know. Never know. I can see, I could see him working in the art department. He has an arty sort of vibe to him. I will say, I don't really play the lottery either, but I do have a, um, a co-worker who does, and he, he usually makes at least his money back on the, on the scratch-offs. He also won about $3,000 once. Which was really two thousand dollars after taxes, but like, just you know, I don't, I don't play, but it's, it's been good for some people I know. And then <laughs> he approached his fortieth, and I was like, break a habit. So and Roy's forty. <laughs> yeah. At least forty. Hmm. He looks sure. <laughs> what What would he have won? He got five balls, numbers, whatever. And then the, the bonus one. I think that gets you a million. A million pounds? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know what his numbers were before he stopped? No. So the week after he stopped, he told you, yeah, those, that last week, those were my numbers. <laughs> Is that me, what happened? He told me and he showed me. OK, so we do... You, OK, so again, this just proves, I guess, I don't play the lottery. I assume that you just play, if you're playing Powerball, you just choose the same numbers every time? Because every time I've done a, a lottery like that, like, again, I don't do it often, but every time I do, I usually just choose different numbers. <laughs> I'm just like, let's just make up stuff. Let's get, it's all random anyway. Okay. So I guess if you use the same numbers over and over again, you're statistically more likely to eventually get something. 
He had a previous ticket from a previous week and he showed you that and the numbers that had come up the first week he hadn't played the lottery. So he's quite angry. He's bringing in a lot of evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my file entitled, <laughs> You Have Ruined My Life. <laughs> <laughs> and clearly Roy still speaks to you after... Well, I mean, obviously we still work together because he didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, zing! Liz Carr, rude. <laughs> <laughs> right, David. Who would you like? Who would you like to question next? Okay, um, Annika. You you like to paint him naked? Yeah. What, uh, why? Because uh, Roy, lovely, beautiful Roy, as I call him, is a life model, and so um, he comes round to my house sometimes and uh, gets strips, strips, and I paint him. I feel like I've never. I mean, it's, I very rarely do I hear about life models doing house calls, but um, you know, I guess anything anything is possible, I suppose. And I've realized my shirt's inside out, and that's all I can see right now. But I'm gonna just keep going with this video, so y'all get to see the inside of my shirt. Happy days. Would you be prepared to paint him fully clothed? I thought you were going to say, would you be prepared to, uh, to do me on a Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I pay you... I pay you, yeah. <laughs> What medium, Annika? Are you in charcoal? I work oils? in oils. I do You're like... An oil. I'm an oil person yes. with rock. She puts oils in her... She has oils in her kitchen? That's a bad place to do oils. Look, I don't know if anybody else out there is, like, anyone watching here has painted with oils before, but, like, one, you need to do it in a very ventilated area because, God, it stinks. It's so bad. Because, like, and then all of the things that you have to use to, like, you have to use turpentine. Like, I wouldn't want to put, I would not, I would never, ever paint with oils in my kitchen. Yeah, no. I don't think this is. I don't think this is true. Roy, quite a lot. But what? He, he covers himself in oil. And then yeah. Paint. <laughs> oil paint. Oil paint. Oh, I was about to say, big man, what are you dealing with, now? <laughs> how, how long have you been been painting? Uh, about ten years, properly. Um, and Roy is uh, one of the regular models. Do you pay Roy? Yes, you pay him. So He's what, a so professional what, you, model. you make an appointment with him. Also, I don't think I'd want a naked stranger in my kitchen. I think that's another thing I wouldn't want in my kitchen. Oil paint and naked stranger. Two things. Don't want there in my kitchen. I ding, make an appointment. Ding dong. Do you come to... <laughs> 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 is that his nickname? <laughs> You're at home. You, you've, got, you've got your equipment out. Got Ding dong. <laughs> and then now he doesn't oh arrive God. naked, does he? No, what, what happens? No, he, oh, um, come on, you can work it out wrong. So I've got a studio next to the kitchen. Okay. I'm doing big oil painting in the studio. Oh. But then we go into the kitchen and I'll carry on sketching and things. And because he's been. Painting so he's still naked. New, he's still point. naked. Because yeah. I know him so well, he doesn't bother to put a pant on or anything like that. <laughs> Not a single solitary pant. <laughs> How many variations of a naked man can you do? Not that you're telling the truth, because I am. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't know about Roy is he does the most extraordinary dynamic poses. So oh, a different pose every endless. week. <laughs> oh, it's endless. Can he show I'd no, love sorry. to see yeah. it. I'd love Please to see show it. us, yes. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm sorry, you're trying to make yeah. it all tasteful, all we're thinking yeah. of the blogs. No, he, he, Is he, it with the fruit bowl again, Annika? Yeah. <laughs> he, um, he can do the most extreme... I'm not holding those grapes again. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours out till last time. <laughs> Especially with my hands on my head, I can't hold my grapes for those. <laughs> Why don't you position Lee yes, into some of the poses that you oh, yeah. enjoy with Roy? And take your time over this, Annika. <laughs> so one last thing, one last yeah. thing. Lee, yeah. please don't take your clothes off. <laughs> OK. So, so after a, a cup of tea, you are going to take your clothes off if you're right. out the tea. Yeah. <laughs> So what sort of poses do you I'm normally do? I'm still taking Lee? my clothes <laughs> off. <laughs> I've got the pants on. I'm okay. leaving them on for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I'm doing this one. This <laughs> okay. Um... I've got the t-shirt off yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just. You got it.
You gotta like spread, take this, make this take its time. This is a special moment for both of them. Hey. Right now, I'm down to my pants. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to? Could you? Well, look the other way. Pants. <laughs> look the <laughs> way. Yeah. Why do you want to look away? Because I'm not working yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I say go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> get out the other way! Roy, get round here. It's <laughs> <laughs> Annika, you haven't put the heater on. Oh, my God. Are you comfortable? I'm not comfortable, no! No. I came round for an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me see the guy. cash first. <laughs> <laughs> you have to count it. <laughs> I'm doing it trying to put it in there, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that got in the folds of my skin. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> what do you want me to do? What position? Get on your knees. <laughs> on my knees. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to believe this might be real. <laughs> I'm starting to believe this might be real. She dies. She got on her own knees. This is quite a dynamic sketch right here. This is a dynamic pose. <laughs> She's like dead over here. This is looking like a hostage situation. <laughs> now what do I do? Do you want to preps? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Pretend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna have some fun manipulating him into the weirdest position, isn't she? <laughs> why why are we pretending he's a dog? This is very weird and strange. Did Roy make this position? Someone's gonna fire a gun after this. <laughs> that's that's the sort of that's that's the that sort of thing. Position that Roy well does. thank you. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> what about Lee? So what is the, um... I forgot him myself. <laughs> this is Roy. I once spent the night in his petrol station wearing nothing but my wife's dressing gown. <laughs> Why are you in the petrol station overnight? Because uh, I was, uh, I got locked out of my house. How did you get locked out of your house? <laughs> well, I went out of the house and didn't have my keys. I mean, how would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Why was he wearing his wife's dressing gown? Although I think dressing gown is a, like like a, a robe, right? Like a bathrobe. I think that's what dressing gown is. So like not a nightgown. I was thinking like a nightdress, but like bathrobe. So you know he grabbed the first dressing gown he could grab, ran outside to you know get the dog or something, you know like, and then couldn't get back in the house. It's, that's how that happens. Are you only wearing your wife's dressing gown when you left the house? I was at home, alone. My wife was away. It was about two or three o'clock in the morning and I suddenly woke up in a cold sweat because I hadn't put the bins out. <laughs> and uh, I, I panicked and I, and I suddenly got up out of bed and I, and I like to wear just my pants in bed. Let me tell me if it gets too arousing. <laughs> <laughs> so We've just spent about five minutes like watching you take your clothes off. I think we can handle pants. I grab what I think is my dressing gown from the back of the bedroom door and I realise straight away that it's, it's my wife's. I think I'm only really taking the bins. It's only like very a quick second job in it. So I go downstairs because mm. that's where the front door is. Yes. And uh, we used to have it on the middle floor, but many injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went, I went out the front door and I just did that with my hand. Oh, turn round, slam. Uh -huh. So why don't you why don't you go like next door or something? It's, it's two o'clock in the morning and I live in a castle. <laughs> Barefoot. Well, no, human feet. <laughs> <laughs> to the garage. I walk to the garage. Yeah. And what do you find there? I find Roy. And uh, he was reading a paper. There's not much business at two o'clock in the morning, you know. Oh, okay. No, okay. I was thinking like his garage, like where his car lives. Okay. I was very confused for a second. I was like, why is Roy in your garage reading a magazine? <laughs> like, no. Okay, walk down the street. And I remember he went. 
<laughs> Hi. Very hairy feet, sir. <laughs> I've locked myself out. Is there any chance um, I could borrow your phone so I could phone my wife? Where was she? She was at a relative's house. In a safe house. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Roy previously? I, well, I'd been in the petrol station a few times, uh, but he won't recognise it because I was always wearing a balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I borrow his phone. Yeah. I dial. Straight to answering machine. So it's two well, in the morning. Machine just said, uh, "Hi, I'm not here at the moment. If this is Lee, I still don't want to see you." <laughs> <laughs> so I said to Roy, "God, now what?" We had a little coffee and then started having a chat, and he—he he was really nice. He said, "You're my favourite on the show." And <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, "It's a lie." <laughs> <laughs> and then when punters came in and just saw you, did they just... Occasionally, because it's 24-7, you know. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit awkward. Well, but we, we, them, yeah. we had a laugh with the first few customers. By the fifth one, we thought it'd be funny if we didn't tell them and I just held his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she came back in the morning... She came back in the morning and, and I said... Everything uh, back to I, I'm sorry, but I'm in love with Roy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we need an answer, so... OK. Ooh. I kind of feel like it might be Attica. Uh, she mentioned that she's a studio off her kitchen. Like, that makes that a little bit better. I don't think it's Liz. I don't think it's the lottery thing. But maybe that's just because that's the most mundane one. David's team is Roy, Liz's lottery loser. Annika's kitchen companion, or Lee's forecourt friend. It's absolutely not Lee's. <laughs> much as we've enjoyed your contribution. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I don't believe about Liz's is that he says he's 40. Now, I know black don't crack, but <laughs> he, he is not 40. I'm leaning towards Annika's suddenly. All right, what are you going to say? I, I you think, think Annika? Annika? Yes. Annika? Annika? I think Annika, too. I think Annika. OK. You're going to go Annika. Right, they're saying Annika. Roy, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Roy, and Annika paints me naked in her kitchen. <laughs> yes, Roy is Annika's kitchen companion. All righty, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Ha-ha! So I know I called that. Sometimes I'm good at these. Sometimes I can tell. This time was one of them. Last time and the time before that was not one of them. But yeah, no, I was like, Liz is a little too. There's not enough there, really. Lee, too much there. Always too much with Lee. <laughs> um, but but the, just the fact of like how she was trying to pose Lee and how much she was like dying inside the whole time. I believed her on that one um <laughs> these are always fun i always really really enjoy these um i forget i think how much i enjoy them until it's uh time for me to watch one again so thank you all so much for putting up with it for watching this with me i hope you all enjoyed um and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye